dead of a fit. But, but do you ever regret the fact that you hadn't got someone? Yeah, I regret. And, and yes, you do. I do. I regret that, and I regret not having children because I mean I've got fourteen godchildren, and everybody says I'm good with kids, which I am. I like kids, uh, though it's easier to like them when you can give them back at seven o'clock at night you know, to their parents. I'd like to have had kids, but in a sense, I don't regret it because I've often seen what people in my circumstances, this kind of high ag aggression, work hard, play hard, who do get married, sometimes too young, and have children, again, sometimes too young, and within four or five years, they're divorced. You've been close a couple of times to being married. Yes. Have you actually proposed to someone before? No, it didn't get that close. <laughs> I proposed to someone at university. She was absolutely beautiful, and she was the nicest girl around. But it would have been a disaster if I got married. Did, We'd have been did she say that? Yeah, we got engaged. Oh, you saw you were engaged? Yeah, it was a secret. It was just the two of us knew. But we got engaged. We even bought the ring or put the deposit on the ring. But I never went back and got that deposit. So talk me through what happened then. You, you proposed, you gave her a ring. Yeah, and you know what I got to get? I mean, we, 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 we were in love and we were two. We were in our early 20s. She was at Manchester Salford University. I was in, uh, at Glasgow University. We met at a student conference, fell in love, became okay. I would travel down to Manchester, hitch lifts to see her. She would come up to stay with me in my, in my parents' house in Glasgow at times. And my best friend was getting, had got engaged, and that just seemed the natural thing to do. And then it was after I got engaged, I realized this was crazy. I was in second year at university. I didn't know what I wanted to do, and that this would end in tears. So it was better to break that. And it would have So done. you broke the engagement off? Yeah. How did she take that? Not well. But then you never do. And a couple of other times what I got... What was her name? Oh, no, she's a private. You know better than to. <laughs> That's glad. And a couple of other times that I came close to getting married, on both of these occasions, I, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't because I, I, when I look back or I see how things have developed with them, it would not have lasted. And I think in this modern world, what I, what I would have looked for is probably unattainable now when you look at how so many marriages end in uh, failure that uh, I always thought if you get married it should be forever and I think you particularly owe that to the kids uh, because of my background was like that it was solid and so on I just think it's so hard in today's world and can I quickly ask you yeah because it would be rude not to about the private eye photograph that keeps turning up yeah, is it does it still appear though because I don't see the eye I was at a private eye lunch a couple of weeks ago it wasn't as full of delicious gossip maybe I didn't have a good day I was lucky because I sat behind Ian Hislop and he's always the editor, he's always great fun and he and I get on well together and we exchange stories and so on. But I expected to come, br come away brimming with gossip and new information, so it was a little bit disappointing, no, but anyway, it was fine. The picture, um, people, the picture doesn't really, you know, you never, the picture doesn't really bother me, but even if it does I wouldn't say it because they would probably just keep on running it more and more. The, the picture has led to a lot of misapprehensions. Or, or mis First of all, I'm mean, amazed at the number of people who think it's Pamela Bordes. Well, last time I looked, Pamela Bordes was Indian. Mm -hmm. This is a, an Ameri a, a black Afro-American. Probably I always assert that she's an Asian babe. Yeah, she's not. She's American and she's black. She's an Afro-American. She was the number one makeup artist in, uh, in American television. And she did Barbara Ward, and we went out for a little while. And the other thing is that this, because me with the baseball hat and a, in, a, in a vest, is people think that we were out at a nightclub. Well, like we'd just come off the beach in Barbados. It was my mate, Terry O'Neill, took the picture. Um, and she's probably still got the rights. He's probably making a fortune out of it. So, so we, we took, I mean, well, what else do you wear at the beach but a T-shirt? And a baseball hat. I mean, I was going to ask you, why isn't Terry O'Neill sort of asserted his copyright and charged them? Well, he probably is. The bastard, which I see. <laughs> so, look, the die is cast, the deed is done, that picture's there. If it's people having some fun, fine, it's not. It's well, well past embarrassment time. And the nickname Brilla Pad, how do, you, how do you view that now? That's the same thing, it's just gone into the. It's gone into the. Um, Lexicon. Has anyone ever called you Brillo Pad to your, to your face? And, uh, oh, I think so a couple of times. Somebody wanted to 
think they were being offensive. Though I saw on Wikipedia some say this, something's changed it, that, 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 that I was called Brill Pipe because I wore a wig. Well, I mean, I think in my business, wearing a wig or a toupee, whatever they call it, I don't think you can get away with that. Too, too. I mean, the chance is of something really so embarrassing. It's not a toupee, then. I don't think so, no. <laughs> if it was, it would look a lot better than this. <laughs>